Here's the thing that people fall for, and I'm kind of taking the, the mask off here. They look at these social media photos from me, as well as other people that are known in the world, and they see happy faces. Exactly. And they see us laughing and smiling, and we're at dinner, and they go, man, they got the greatest life ever. They don't realize I smiled for the five seconds it took to take that photo. Right before it, I might have been in misery, and right after it, I might have been in tears. I filed for divorce and was willing to give my ex everything because I knew it would hurt her, um, but I was trying to make it easy. She began a two-year persecution of my life and business. During those two years, I developed a new relationship with a woman who developed neural Lyme disease and pretty much was on her deathbed, and I was her caretaker. And a pandemic crawls across the planet, basically wiping out my biggest income, which is from traveling and speaking. Mm -hmm. And so this is two years of me getting up every day going, how am I gonna get through today? And then wondering what the future is going to, to hold. And I would be lying to you if I said, oh, I just get up every day and put on a happy face, look for the sunshine, you know, and, and did affirmations every day. No. I'm human, you're human, we're all human. We are going through what's called the human experience. I think for us, what we need to do is, look, we're going through the human experience, it's okay. That's the first thing, it's okay. It's okay to grieve, it's okay to hurt, it's okay to feel sad. So in many ways, the struggle we're going through, as much as we don't wanna go through it, is part of our strengthening. And we have to go through it to have full wings and be able to fly.